to my horn that almost every time God placed a mic in my hand, I'm talking to preachers and pastors and leaders of the church. The question is, as I come here to talk to souls for Christ, do we know why we're here? Do we have clarity on why this church is gathered here tonight? I'm already getting in trouble. Because we can get confused in the thinking about our gifts and our talents and our, our power. We can get confused in the thinking that it's all about us. But do we know why? Can I talk to you all just a minute? Do we know why we're gathered here together tonight? The church itself is a colony. Most of us from the islands, right? Yes, sir. I'm from the Bahamas. Some of you are from Jamaica. Some from Haiti or Haitian descent, even though you don't admit it. Amen. <laughs> I'm talking about the general love people. Somebody say amen. God bless you for y'all who came from general love. That's a long drive. Well, y'all all y'all live up this way almost. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for being here. I want to talk to you. I may preach for five minutes, but I want to teach because God never sends me in a place unless there's a time for change. My appointments are such that when he connects me to a place or a people, he is promoting change in their thinking. Amen. Preaching already here. I'm preaching a radio apostle. You know this to be true. When I stand, I'm going to say things that you've never heard before. That's not because I'm smart. That's just my challenge. That's my anointing. That's my gifting. Someone say amen. amen. So let's just talk, first of all, why are we here? I may be dressed up and we dance around, and, but why are we here? What is the church all about? Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail up, 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 up against it. But why did he build the church? When Jesus came, he came talking about a kingdom. Amen. Yes. Uh, Gary, I'm a teacher. Give me a half hour and I'll be out you with it, okay? But, so we need to understand this, you know, let's be damned and shout and glorify ourselves. Yes. and never see power, yes. true power, never see provision, never see protection. And we walk around and laugh, we walk around frustrated, we walk around angry because we're disconnected from the source of our provision. They're not going to like this here. When we're living upon, uh, 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 beneath our privileges, when we don't know how to respond to life with sissitudes because we've been con disconnected from the source, the very source of our provision, our power, and our protection. And when we're going through stuff in life, it's beating us up because most of the church is con disconnected from the source of the power, which is the kingdom of God. Yes. Give me five more minutes. I'll be finished here in a minute. Because the church have been birthed as a colony through which God's kingdom should be seen on earth. Amen. I'm going to say it again, Apostle, because somebody need to get this. It's not right for me to manifest my gifts. Those gifts are given. They come without repentance. If God chooses to take them, he can do it any time because he does what he will. But he will. The church is birth so that when people walk in church, they should have an idea about what heaven looks like. Yeah. My God, I feel like I'm preaching. Now. Hallelujah. I'm not going to preach that much. I'm just going to teach. When, when people walk through the doors of the church, it should not be about the gifts of man. It should not be about the talents of man. It should not be about your big choir, your praise team. And I saw my prayer, one of my lead singers beating the drums. God help me. We got a drum. Somebody say amen. <laughs> oh God, help me! But 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 what we want to do is when Jesus said, "I will build my church," and He said, "Pastor Peter, I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of God." So the church was built so God could anoint some people and give them access to the kingdom, so they could drag you in with them. See, I'm an apostle. Right? That's, I don't have no doubt. I've rejected it for years. I know what my charge is. And we have to understand that we've been birthed, we've been colonized, and our only responsibility, our primary responsibility is people should know what heaven looks like. They should know how our God rules. They should know God's love. They should know God's faith. They should know how we should operate. How many of us in church even know that we have a constitution? Come on. We are part of the kingdom. When you go to the Bahamas, I, I, I think in Jamaica too, you drive on the left side of the road, right? Yes. Why? Because you were colonized by England, yes. not America. God. So we being colonized by England, we used English money for a long time. Yes. So when tourists came into the Bahamas, they saw a replica of England. Yes. Our governmental system was that of England. Yes. Our policemen dressed like that of England. Yes. So they had a picture of England coming to the Bahamas just like Jamaica. Yes. Amen. Amen. 
preach this thing right here. So when people come to church, there should be an, 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 an there should be listen, listen, there should be a, a vision of what's going on in heaven. Forever, Lord, your word is still in heaven. 